Hey, welcome back to Cooking with Cranberries. I'm Amelia with Cape Cod Select, and today we are making a cranberry hummus. So to start, I've actually cut up some pita that we will, um, you know, put the hummus on to eat with after. Um, so I've cut up the pitas, and I'm actually going to make a little bit of olive oil sage um, combination here to get that started. So I'm gonna do six uh, tablespoons of olive oil. And depending on how many pitas, you might need to make up another batch, but easy enough. Um, and then I also have a tablespoon of chopped up sage. So I'm gonna put right in there. Do a little bit of fresh, well, <laughs> fresh ground pepper. <laughs> this is what I have. Um, if I can get the lid off here. Yep, a little bit of fresh ground pepper. And I'm just gonna mix this together with my little brush here. And this is what it's looking like. And I'm just gonna drizzle this. Well, I guess I'm gonna paint it on the pitas here. I'm gonna try to get a little sage on each pita. And then we'll put these in the oven um, on broil for just one to two minutes, you want to just watch it because you don't want to crisp these up too much. All right, so I still have a little left over. This was just one round pita cut up, um, but if you're making more, then you can obviously, you know, use up more of that olive oil. So like I said, we will pop that in the oven and it will crisp up. In the meantime, we are going to make our cranberry hummus and let me just grab something real quick. This is how we made the cranberry portion. I made up a quick little cranberry sauce um, before this, just so that I could get a cup of cranberry sauce. So what I did was use Cape Cut Select whole frozen cranberries. They're available nationwide in grocery stores in the freezer aisle. Um, and I just did a splash of orange juice, a little sugar, and a little honey, and I just brought it to a boil, then I let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. So just whipped that up really quick. Um, that's what we're using. And we have our food processor here, which I'm gonna shift everything over so you can see it. All right, so into our food processor, we are adding in one fourth cup of um, actually just a, like a tablespoon to two tablespoons of cold water. Um, but then I'm going to add in one fourth cup of tahini. So, um, it's a little tricky to pour into this one fourth cup because of the texture. Um, it's very liquidy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try not to make a big old mess, but I probably will. Uh, but like I said, one fourth cup of tahini. Tahini is just sesame seeds, um, but it's a good, it's you know a base for hummus. So I'm gonna add that into my food processor with three tablespoons of lemon, lemon juice. Sorry, not like actual lemon, but lemon juice. Just put that in there. All right, so get some lemon here. And this is a great appetizer for just, you know, yourself or if you are entertaining um, on your deck this summer. And it'll be a nice pretty color because of the cranberry. All right, so three tablespoons lemon juice. So I'm going to um, mix this first so that we get a nice consistency. It only takes two seconds because it's pretty smooth. Right. And actually, whipping the tahini, it really already looks like a hummus. All right, 
So that is combined. Now what are we doing? We are adding two tablespoons of olive oil. And then a little salt and pepper. that a little bit more before we add the next ingredients which will be the chickpeas or the cranberry sauce. Um, that looks pretty good. Like I said, I mean it's already really smooth and easy to work with. Um, so now we have our chickpeas which it was just one can of chickpeas from the store. I just drained and rinsed them and um, we're adding those. And do, 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 do. we're going to add the cup of cranberry sauce. And I think that's everything. So I'm just going to blend this all together. Ooh, it's like a bright pink. Cranberry is really too big. All this is look so pretty because of that nice bright color that they have. And then, you know, after this, I put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. So, it, you know, cools, cools down and you have a yummy appetizer. And then um, I would store it in the fridge afterwards if you don't go through it all uh, in an airtight container. But we have this beautiful colored hummus. Um, if you wanted to put, you know, a little lemon on top, um, salt, pepper, you know, taste it first. Um, I am going to do a little... Taste test here. Let's try it. Hmm. That's 
really good. I'd probably add a little more salt, but that's just me, I like salty. But, really, really good. Um, again, that's cranberry hummus, super easy to make, and um, I think you'll really like it. So, thank you for tuning in this week. I will catch you next week with a new recipe using our frozen cranberries or one of our fruit blends that we have as well. So, I'll catch you next week, and thanks again. Have a great weekend.